It was last year, I was walking around the school after classes, and my cousin came up to me and brought me to the dance room. And she said that I had to join the dance team. So I went to their practices, I did I choreographed, and I started liking what I was liking what I was doing with them, and then we competed, and then that's why I was really into the dance and I wanted to pursue that When I was younger, I was more into singing. That was my that was my goal. When I grew up, I wanted to be a singer. I wanted to be a pop singer or whatever. What's it like going out and, and teaching other other dancers? Um, it's hard. It's hard because I'm young. I'm one of the youngest. I probably I am one of the youngest. And especially when they're older people, they kind of fool around. But I make it fun. And most of them are my friends. Most of them know me besides dance. So it's it's easier to relate. And yeah, we have fun. Well, I've started two teams. Oh no, three teams. And I I get people. I say, hey, come come audition. And even though I'm not that good, I still. I still teach them a routine, I still give them good feedback or criticize them in a nice way. But it's just, I want them to come out so they know what there is in the school and not just sit down and learn and write, but to, uh, to do all the extra things and all the extra activities. Competing is the best part. Just go to the school, we see all those different dancers in their costumes and their weird hair and tutus and everything. Um, and it's fun to see them dance, and you learn from them as well. I'm not a good. I'm not one of the best dancers. There's so much other people who are better dancers, and you look up to them, and that really inspires me. And when people see me dance, even though they're not that good, they, they like how they like how I like it. So they pursue what if it's not dancing, anything that they want, whether it's singing, acting. I first started training in music when I was nine years old. I played the flute and I currently play the oboe. And I went all the way through high school and university playing the oboe. Got scholarships and, and that was kind of my ticket. But uh, while I was interested in that, I, I was also so interested in other types of music and I really liked combining the electronic music with the classical music and everything in between, whether it's hip hop or rock, it really all kind of says the same thing. It's, it's universal language, you don't even need lyrics for it really, it, it's just the vibe that comes across and, uh, and, and that really keeps me going, it keeps me very interested in life, is, is staying dedicated to music. I enjoy music for so many reasons. Um, it could be the people that I meet. It's also sharing music with others. It's, it's a wonderful way to connect with people because you don't have to have anything else in common with a person. And if you just have that one musical spark, then an entire friendship can develop with just music. I cannot imagine my life without music. It really has given me so many opportunities both to meet new people and to have new experiences. I've traveled the globe playing music for other people and uh, now am teaching people music and so that is an awesome way to give back to your community and it's very fulfilling and so it's something that I will always have in my life and um, it, it's definitely a, a passion and that's so important to find that in your life is that passion. How easy is it to pull yourself off, of, off the couch or? It's not. It's, it's just not. impossible right now. I need to make yeah. the choice before I get on the couch to because go exercise. Because once you're there, you're, once not you're, there, you're sucked yeah. in. Yeah. You're sucked in. It's a black hole. <laughs> I think if I, I have, have a, a very important like homework assignment, I'll like okay, I have to do a Victoria, and I'll just get up and run up to my room. Uh, usually, I like to stick on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the question, but um, <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> well, I think girls should just go, go for it and be active and try to get involved in in group things. Like, do it with your friends and. Try to make it fun. Don't make it something that you're gonna yeah. just be like. If you don't like it, then yeah. there's no point in doing it. Like, yeah, you gotta sure. like to do it. You gotta want to do it and yeah. want to get healthy. And, and I guess if you try a lot of different things, then you kind of you get to know what you like. So it's easier. Be open-minded. Yeah, it's easier to like 
figure out what you're good at if you try a lot of things at first. Just don't let people change your mind or force you to do something or not to, or tell you not to do it. And definitely don't let boys like <laughs> influence what you're doing. If you want to go play football, go play football. <laughs> yeah. If you want to do ballet, do ballet, but there shouldn't be any limits or borders or anything like that. Just because you're a girl, you can't do yeah. mean anything. Be and like because we're girls, you know, because we're women, that that's more reason for us to be healthy and fit. Yeah. Just to do it, just to go for it. If you don't like it at the end, then you don't have to do it. But it's fun to at least try things. I've tried so many things that I do not like. <laughs> so it's a good experience just to try it. And you don't have to pursue it if you don't like it. I think that every human has something to give to the world. And when you find that, that really is your purpose in life. And music is mine. It may be yours, but then again, it may be something completely different. So searching within yourself and trying new things is the best way to find what that is for yourself. And, and then you can, in turn, make the world a better place. Ha ha ha.